In this video I'm going to talk about Character Creator 5, a character creation software that promises to be a real game changer. Version 4 was already amazing and now Reallusion, the company behind it, says the next version is going to be even better. The software doesn't have an official release date yet, but trailers are already out on the official website and it's available for pre-order. You can check the pre-order link in the description. So, what's new? What are the main improvements? In the new teaser, we can already get an idea of what's coming. The close-up shots of the characters show that facial expressions have made a huge leap in quality compared to CC4. The product page lists all the big features we can expect. First, we have a big upgrade in mesh subdivision with the ability to switch between different levels. This is super important when you want to add details without messing up the shape of the character, so veins, muscles, sharp lines, everything will look much better. In CC4 you can already bake textures to optimize the character before export and now it seems this will become even simpler and more efficient. As I said before, the eyes are a bigger highlight in this update and that might be more important than it seems. Humans are specializing in recognized faces. Even the smallest detail that looks off can break the illusion. Reallusion seems to know that in Fox add-on, eye textures and geometry, bringing more subdivisions for that part of the character. And we are also getting new skin textures with 8K quality. And not just color maps, we are talking about normal, roughness and more. Another new thing, at least for this software, is the use of displacement maps. These maps allow you to add real 3D depth based on 2D images. This gives you much more flexibility and the results are stunning. Even better, you'll be able to preview the displacement in real time while editing the character in CC5. Now, maybe the biggest leap in CC5 is in the preview of 3D animations. In two teaser videos, we can already tell that the new system might need way less tweaking than before. Here's what I mean. In older versions, some cool features were a bit limited. For iClone, you can create some facial animations from audio, but the results sometimes look at weird, parts of the face would move in natural ways. Now it seems we'll have audio-driven animations with an impressive level of detail. We don't know exactly how those animations were made, but the title of the video is Dialogue Driving Animation. So we have to wait to see exactly what they are talking about. Of course, there are tools out there that do this, like NVIDIA Omniverse or Unreal Engine 5, but in this case, the animation is already applied to a character that's ready to be exported, with text rebaking and all inside one ecosystem. If it works as shown, CC5 will definitely grab even more attention in the market. And animation constraints are also improved, especially around the mouth, where morphs usually cause issues. We also now have non-linear blends for facial animation transitions. This means movement will look much more natural, because that's how real human expressions work. They don't just move in a straight line from point A to B. Also, don't forget, Character Creator lets you create stylized and cartoon characters too. The same expression morphs are available for them, and you can even export them to ZBrush for advanced editing. And I have to remember, there's also wide compatibility with the others 3D softwares for different plugins to make the whole workflow easier. And what I'm most curious about, for sure, is the Unreal Engine integration. It's marked as coming soon, probably because it's one of the most important ones and also one of the most complex to implement. I can't wait to try it out. I'll be recording and testing Character Creator 5 soon right here on the channel, so don't forget to subscribe and while we wait, let's keep talking about all the exciting news in the 3D world. Thank you so much for watching today and big hug, see you next time. Bye bye.